हाय नाना गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू द क्लास टुडे द टॉपिक इज द मोनोसेकरेट्स सो लेट अस नो व्हाट आर द मोनोसेकरेट्स मोनोसेकरेट्स आर द सिंपल शुगर्स बेसिकली दीज आर द सिंपल शुगर्स व्हिच कैन नॉट हाइड्रोलाइज्ड फर्दर इनटू द एनी कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स ओके सो दीज आर मेनली कलरलेस वाटर सॉल्युबल एंड क्रिस्टलाइन इन नेचर एंड दीज आर हैविंग द स्वीट टेस्ट एंड द मेन केमिकल फार्मूला इज सी एच टू ओ टेकन टॉइस okay and now let's go what about the classification of the monosaccharides what is the classification the monosaccharides are mainly classified first depending upon the number of carbons it has for example triose has the three carbons tetrose has the four carbons and pentose has five carbons hexose has six carbons and heptose has seven carbons along with this type of classification there is one more type of classification is there it was depend upon the presence of aldehyde and ketone groups in that monosaccharides if a monosaccharide contains the aldehyde group it is called as the aldose or if it contains the ketone group it is called as the ketose right and our next one most of the monosaccharides uh, um are a in straight line or a, they are a in straight chain like structures except a few which uh, will occurs in the uh, ring form for example if we see glucose galactose fructose and ribose these may also appear in the ring like structures if you see here the there is a example now so depending upon the, these uh, ring structure they are also called as the pyranoses and furanoses so except dihydroxy acetone monosaccharides consist of at least one asymmetric carbon hence they exhibit dextro rotatory and levo rotatory nature so i am showing here uh, the dextro rotatory d glucose and l glucose see here on the fifth carbon the oh was placed on different places right so state 